the fastest woman here tonight, her talent. We've got Rhonda Drake. Rhonda, how's your day going so far? Um, you know, I would have liked to add more practice on the track and everything, but with all the rain, it just didn't happen. But, you know, each time we go out there, it gets better and better, so we'll see. Do you feel like uh, not having that practice is a bigger deal for some racers than others? I mean, you mentioned wanting more track time. I'm more comfortable more confident obviously when I have more you know practice and everything some people don't need it some people are just naturally good I need practice so yeah. you know, your husband seemed to do pretty well he had a pretty good day today yeah he did and uh, it was really cute because I never see him like get nervous or anything and he handed me his radio to take back and his little hand was shaking and I've never seen that because he's always calm cool and collected you so. say little hand Adam Drake's hands are shaking. well yeah they are but I mean, they were shaking so I used that term for everything so yeah it's awesome to see him doing well he had such great success on this race in Hemet so yeah it'd be cool to see him do well here in Arizona also he's excited he's been working very hard on all their new stuff and uh, so we'll see what this year brings it's well, a good start what classes are you racing this weekend um, buggy, uh, pro buggy, pro truggy, and four wheel drive short course. Oh, very cool. So they'll be running on this little track that's right over here. True. Yes. Can't wait. Yeah. It's uh, actually like a replica of the bigger track yeah, somewhat. Cool. So can't wait. So. Uh, did you do anything special over the off season to get ready for this race or is just kind of getting some practice and making sure that you show up with your equipment ready I, to go? I've actually, since the rain, just been running a lot of like a electric indoor eight scale and four wheel short course so it's been like I said so much rain that we really haven't had a chance to run a lot of nitro for the past like two or three months so um, other than running indoors that was my preparation we say it rained a lot it for California rain. for Southern California it rained a lot this yeah season, yeah so <laughs> every opportunity We're so spoiled. Uh, yeah I know I know it so um, but yeah we just ran a little bit of indoor and there goes the big truck in the yeah, background so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. And what's your goal, you know, coming to races like this? I mean, obviously you've been racing for a long time, and it's maybe not, uh, we always want to do the best that we can, but, you know, what what is your goal when you come to something like this? Like, what do you consider a successful weekend? You know, back in the day, I would have, like, not been happy with my results, but this weekend, you know, I just came out here to have fun. I'm just more happy to see Adam doing so well, but, um, I mean, for me, I just want to do the best I can do always, so. But I used to put a lot more pressure on myself, so. But I've been in school and working a bunch, so I haven't had the time to put into it like Adam does and all that, so. I just hope to do the best I can. Start those day jobs, huh? I know. <laughs> well, thank you for the interview and great luck this weekend. Thank nice you. See ya. Nice to meet you.